Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike here with Lola. We are up at O Dark 30 here in Oklahoma, which can only mean one thing, Lola. You ready? Yeah, it only means one thing. We're gonna get a car today. Pop up got Lola walking back and forth. There she is. Say hi. Hello. Yeah. She got shaved the other day. She looks completely different. The back half and the front half are completely different, but I think that's hilarious. I wanted her to have uh, what looked like a wig on her head, so she still looked like a girl. The back half, yeah, it's like the reverse mullet. Yeah. Party in the front, business in the back for Lola. All right, but anyway, I want to tell you, we are headed to Oklahoma City because this is a car that I have been trying to get since April 20th. Yeah, I had to go back and look through all of these uh, Facebook messages uh, to find exactly when I saw the car for the first time and started talking with the owner. Yeah, April 20th. This is January... What is today? 15th? Yeah. So that long to procure this new addition to the fleet. Now, I'll tell you it's a Mercedes, which is nice. I put a picture out on my Instagram and on uh, my Facebook. Um, by the way, you need to follow me on Instagram. I just joined and I have an amazing 500 people following me. I think that's what you call it on Instagram. Um, but it is a Mercedes. It's a 1990 model, and the reason I bought it, well, there's two reasons. One, um, I really like the color of the interior because in a weird way, it reminds me of my father. I'll explain more on that when uh, we get there and I take you guys and gals for a walk around. The other reason I'm buying the car is because the back seat is a little different than what you get in most <laughs> of this era. I don't want to give you the model yet. You could probably guess, but the back seats are a little bit different. So we are headed to Oklahoma City. Lola is sitting pretty. See, see, see? All right. And the next time you'll see me, I will be hopefully standing uh, in front of the car. All right. Stay tuned. Okay, Lola. Should we tell everybody what's on the back of the car? Yes? No? Do you want to show off your new do? Let's, let me show you her new do. Look how pretty. See? Reverse mullet. Business in the back. Party up front. Yeah. Say hey. Say hey. Hi. Okay. I'm very happy because after nine months of work, un uh, I couldn't even tell you how many emails and messages and all this kind of stuff it took to make it happen. We finally have a car on the back of the U-Haul which is the crappiest U-Haul I've ever used, and they wouldn't even help me put it on. I had to put it on myself in the middle of a field. Yeah, thanks, El Reno, Oklahoma. You want a sneak peek at what it is? Do you know what it is? You want to see? Here you go. <gasps> Look. That's kind of weird. Okay. I think it's upside down. Yeah, it should be like that. Okay, we're going from that to this to this baby look at her we'll do a walk around later when i get to oklahoma city but i do want to show you what she looks like yeah very little gas inside but look at the leather look at the leather kind of a tobacco leather color yeah remember i told you it reminds me of my father yeah my dad was a huge red man chewing tobacco guy and he chewed it all the time. I think that's what likely caused him to have cancer and pass away. But this reminds me of the color of red man chewing tobacco. Yeah, and you'll notice, you'll notice, look right there. Yes, sir, Rebob, split seats. And they're heated and they move up and down and they're beautiful and they're in great, great shape. Look at this, look how beautiful. It's this Mercedes leather. I don't know what that is. A couple of seeds back here and look, even little footies, foot rests. I can't tell you how happy I am. And there's one over there too. See, look at this. 
body wise she's in great shape yeah look at that look at the color told you she was pretty we're gonna have to come up with a nice name for her yeah baby I do need a door check because this kind of swings back and forth only thing on the seat is just right there and I think that's gonna be you know we can just replace this panel because I do plan on keeping this car this is a keeper 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 because I love it it started its life in Denver and I'll kind of go through the service history with you later on but I just wanted to show you a quick look at the newest addition to Monkey Wrench Mike's garage. Chrome wheels, tires have lots of tread. How does she run? Well, you're gonna find out. You're gonna find out very, very soon, so stay tuned. But I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Yeah, baby, okay. Just like that, just like that, she's off the trailer. Let me back up. Let's examine her in all of her glory. The color, desert taupe metallic. Yes, I love the color. I do have plans to switch out the headlights. I like the European version much better. I do have plans to turn this ah, right side up so it matches. And look at the little badge. 250,000 km. Alrighty. Let's go around and let me show you what's going on. This car, like I said, was originally a Denver car with a very, very long service history that shows up on a Carfax. All the service was done and then the gentleman that I got it from bought it from the original owner. Look how orange. These things are still orange sometimes when you get older cars like this. You can repaint them, you know, with little model, model car paint. Um, it looks pretty close, but it's not exact. But look at that. This car was garaged. The interior color, Brazilian brown. Tobacco color is what I call it. The seats are in amazing shape. Look at that. Yes sir, -y, Bob. The wood is in really great shape as well see look at that the only wood that's cracked is just right here a little bit okay which is normal every every mercedes from this area that i've ever had has been cracked right there because people don't know how to open this and so they force it and it cracks all right let's um show you the wood over here which looks really nice now let's go to the back seats because this is what I'm really excited about. Okay, this is a very rare option. You Google this and very few of these cars came with this and with those. Yes, just like the BMW, I have little foot rests. Yeah. Hoovy's Garage in your um, fancy Bentleys and Rolls Royce. Yeah, look at this. I got this in my $1,500 Mercedes S-Class. Okay, so this is the split seat. All right, see how nice and pretty they are? The seats move forward and backward. I guess the battery has to be, or the key has to be on. I hope these work. I didn't check them. You have a wood little divider right here. Look at that, look how cool that is. And then under here, ugh, just a little armrest. Okay, look how comfortable this is back here. I love this. So on the doors, you can see you have your door switch, heated back seats. Yes, sir, re Bob. I could, I could drive down to Florida and see my sister. Well, if somebody drove me, I could live back here. Yeah. We do have the door check that we do need to fix. I told you guys about that. You want to hear her run? Yeah. Okay. One of the issues the guy told me about is if you leave it in park, and you try to start her, nothing. Put her in neutral, try to start her. She starts, okay? So there's a switch underneath here somewhere that I need to kind of look at. 
not a biggie. She is a little bit rough, but I did I put that gallon of gasoline in her. Can you hear? That engine sounds really good. Let's open the hood again. I'm sorry, we're gonna go back outside. I want you to hear the hood. Hear the hood. Hear the engine. Yes. Okay. See how quiet? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Ugh. She's a little wobbly. I'm sure she needs engine mounts. Maybe spark plugs, I'm thinking. She is a little wobbly. She does better as she gets down the road. Uh-oh. That's an issue right there. That's an issue. All right, you know what that means. Mike gets to buy a radiator. Holy dang, holy dang dang. Okay, let's see if she'll make it to the tag agency. Hopefully she will. We'll see how she drives. Okay, you wanna go for a quick ride? I thought you would. Radio, no power, so I gotta fix that too. Okay, let's see. I love the view. I love, love, love the view. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Little trees right there looking good. We have got to get some gas in her. And then we got to get to the tag agency. The brakes work. That's good. That's a plus. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. Kind of a busy street. Here we go, first time on the road. It, it's quiet in here, it is so quiet. So we're going to get some gas. And we're going to the tag agency. And then we'll park it at home and you guys can Tell me how much you love All right, her. we're back from the tag agency. There is a license plate on the back of the car. I am official. She is insured. She is plated and she's so pretty. She is so pretty. She is such a good girl. I cannot express how happy I am for this. I do have, okay, well, we got something to work on. Yeah, the guy smoked. <laughs> Okay. Oh, and that just went right inside. Okay. So there is a little smell of smoke, but guess who has a, an ozone machine? I do. So we're going to do that. We're going to get her running. We have ordered a radiator. We have ordered some other little parts for her, her a door check and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Please be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram now. I'm even on the Twitter. I think I'm on Twitter. I think. If so, I'll put a link down there for you. But thank you guys for going on this journey with me. And one more look. Don't mind the smell. That's gross. I'll get rid of these and hopefully she will be smelling much better. I want her to smell like tobacco because that reminds me of my dad. All right. Dad, I hope you like the car and I hope you like the video. All right. Thanks for watching everybody. Monkey Wrench Mike saying goodbye.